Thank you and good morning, everybody, and welcome to the assembly seminars. Uh, well, today, mm, this session, we have something a bit different. We are talking about a little bit about IGDA and different well, cities and the game development scene there. Uh, you probably all know what is IGDA. If you do not, then go to website igda.fi and read some more. Okay, uh, so yes, uh, as I told, uh, my name is Vesku, and I have uh, well, speakers from different cities. And uh, well, first of all, okay, the IGDA, uh, <coughs> our uh, association, our like main thing is to bring game development industry and game development guys uh, and girls together, and well, and spread the good word. Let's say uh, about a <coughs> couple of years ago. Uh, we in Helsinki, we heard this little rumor that uh, there's some game development going on on different part of the city, uh, different part of the Finland. And I was like, oh my, uh, are you sure? Oh man. And there well, came this weird, weird city, something like, it was Turku or Jyväskylä. <laughs> and uh, phew, weird, weird. But anyways, hey, uh, you got the microphone. If you could like introduce your self for a short, your name, your position on ICDA and so on. And also, could you tell uh, what, what's the city and where is it? Okay, thank you. So I'm Tatu Laine, the coordinator for the Turku Game Development Hub. So I run the IGDA Finland Turku Hub there, and Turku is near the western coast, somewhere oh. in the archipelago. Hey guys, I'm Minna from Manse, I mean Mansisteri, I mean Tampere. <laughs> Which, if you go north enough, you're gonna find this big tower, and that's when you know you're there. It's called Nasin <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 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 Hey, I'm Tem Jurkinen. I'm from Joensu. I'm currently a student, and Joensu is very close to the Russia. That's the only thing I can say. <laughs> hey, my name is Helen Herranen, and I'm from Joensu also, and. Um, here to present UNSO Games. Hey, I'm Thomas Roinen from Uvascula, which is in the center, in the center, so almost next to the Mount Bestery. And we've been thinking that it's getting too much louder, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, the thing is that it's getting around. <laughs> uh, Uvascula is very young in sense of IGDA, so only last year we started, so. A lot of developers in there, so let's see how it goes. Yeah. Okay. So first, uh, we start presentations. Uh, every city has some some slide to show and something to tell. And after that, I start teasing you guys. Let's see what happens. So, I mean, tattoo, you go first. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Please clear the stage. Thank you. So yeah, uh, my presentation is about Turku, and I'm going to be talking a lot about games, because games are the most important stuff in this. So next 10 minutes, I'm going to shoot away, show off. Uh, yeah, that's me. I'm a games entrepreneur. I'm board member at IGD Finland. Uh, I'm the coordinator, as I said, for the Turku Game Development C. I'm also vice president for the Finnish Game Jam. OK. The Turku game scene in 2009 looked like this. There was like zero companies in the area. And somewhere along the line, something started to happen. Little by little, companies started to appear from out of nothing. It's not, not if someone actually moved to Turku to start a company. There were actually people in Turku who just started to make games. And nowadays, we have quite a lot of those game companies in Turku. And a lot of interesting games being developed. So, let me show you off some of the games that are, have been made in Turku in the last five years. First of all, it's Pixel Piracy, the first truly indie sensation of Turku. At the moment, uh, Pixel Piracy is in top 10 at Steam. You can see it from the picture there. And it's, it's made by one guy, Vitali Kirpu. And he did a really smart guerrilla marketing for the game. Check it out. Okay, moving on. Nico, some of the games that are also made in Turku is like Nico 2 from Treehouse, an endless runner game with Nico. Great, awesome. They also made a Britney and Dudeson game where you control Britney and eat cake and jump around, jump higher, yeah. 
Another game they made was the Sea Seal and the Word Bird, where all of the graphics were made from patchwork, like everything was made from fabric. And it's a game where you connect uh, letters to make words. This is one of the earlier games. They were pretty fast on the App Store with their uh, dogfight game. So it's a like really simple fly and shoot people with local multiplayer over over the internet. It's awesome. And another game they made was uh, Dethroned, a really really impressive and high risk project uh, with MOBA and tower defense elements. Like, the biggest game made in Turku. So you kind of like these amazing heroes and you battle like against each other. You can play with whatever device you want to. So, and then you can buy stuff to like mix your character and keep it more interesting. Um, Tick Bits is a company that has made a really original I Associate game, I Associate 2. It's been featured in ABC News. <laughs> so it's an awesome game where you uh, associate words with other. So you'd start the game with a theme like breakfast, and then you had the words that are found on breakfast, and then you, little by little, you start to find out connections with those words, and it's really fun. They've also made, uh, I think, one of the most coolest looking match three games there, uh, there is, Cruel Jewels, go try it out. They also made a, m a number of other games. They were pretty, pretty fast on the App Store too, and what makes TickBits so, so cool is that they haven't had any external funding for their company, and they're over, uh, over 10 people. With, with these games, they managed to do that. We also have, uh, this is uh, probably the most popular game made in Turku, it's Benji Banan Bananas Adventures. Uh, uh, the first uh, version was just uh, Benji Bananas, and I think it has over 50 million downloads al around the world. And we've reached the point that there's some merchandising happening in Turku. So Benji Bananas Lemonade, you can find in shops all around Finland. There's also candy for it. And it's actually pretty good. It's not, it looks like it's like ugh, really, really sweet, but it's okay, it's okay. They also made a game called Light the Flower, a puzzle game where you rotate mirrors to guide different colored lights to different colored plants, really good game. And these are some of the older games Tribe Flame made. They were one, one of the first companies to have a, a car game in the App Store called Race Car. And, uh, it, it got a decent amount of uh, downloads at the time. They also have a curling game, and at the time of the Winter Olympics, it was quite popular, actually. The downloads went, went up. And some of the other games they've made uh, is the Rainer Knizia's board games to the tablets. So they started out making those games. So there are some good uh, uh, virtual versions of Rainer Knizia's uh, board games in, in the App Store, if you want to check out. Then we have an, a very recent company, Rival Games, doing an awesome HBO meets Telltale uh, crime, crime story game called The Detail. And this, here's some of, some of the pictures here. It's co going to come into PC and other uh, mobile dev devices too. So something really dark and grim is coming out of Turku in the near future. There's also, also a game company called Bugbyte who made this game Ace Tales, it's an endless runner where you fly around with your airplane, collect stuff, shoot stuff. And one of the cool things about this game is that you get to uh, contribute to like, help dogs around the world, like homeless dogs. You get to use the in-game currency to help those. Now they're making another game called Battle Station, which is like a tower defense roguelike game. You control this battle station and you get waves of enemies at you and you buy upgrades and it's really, really, really really, really addictive, actually. Uh, yeah, this is my company. We made a number of uh, educational games, like first one is learning math, second one is learning to write, third one is learning math, fourth one is learning, learning math, fifth one is learning English. And we also make a sex education game. Like, this was awesome. How awesome is to make a sex education game? I don't know if there's many of those made in <laughs> Finland. And uh, this is c a bit of a preview of what's to come from our company. So we're going to make an awesome casual social puzzle game that's coming out in a month or so. Turku also has the most awesome matchstick game, physics-based matchstick game called Collapse Sticks, where you have these levels with uh, uh, matchsticks on them. And you need to topple the matchstick tower with as, at as few touches as you can. So there's a lot of levels and a lot of fans for this game also. 
Also, if you're a fan of Acros or Elastomania, there's a guys, guys from Kuti Entertainment that have made a kind of a similar game that's uh, out in the Play Store right now for you all uh, old school gamers out there. There's also a game where you throw bodies into graves. That's called Charlie the Chucker. Ugh, that's crazy. But yeah, it's kind of like Angry Birds, but you throw bodies around. Awesome. And there's the Castaway Cat, the pixel, pixel art game we had. Just no other reason for it to be here that looks so funny. Another game we had was Hoot. Uh, if you want to learn musical notes, uh, this is the app for you. It's found on the Windows, Windows Phone Store. So if you didn't, didn't like studying music when you were seven or something, you can begin again with apps. There's another company coming now merging called Rocodile Games. The first game Rescue co is in the Play Store, App Store right now. It's a fun game where you swipe to give, uh, give speed to these two different shapes, shaped balls that are <laughs> coming on, on those cliffs and it's really hard and har a hardcore game. Uh, another game that's coming out from Yalomieli is uh, like a kind of, kind of like Civilization for for mobile games, maybe? We'll see how it develops, but it looks really interesting. And they say that w they are based in the beautiful city of Turku, of course. There's a game coming out in Turku that's about Kalevala, a role-playing game about Kalevala. What? Yeah. This is from Fake Fish. Check them out. There's also a game you can, you can be a, like an engineer in a game called Industry Sim is for running an energy plant, plant or whatever. Check it out. There's also a game called Jorge and Ben, where you throw cakes at each other's faces. That's it. It's a local multiplayer. You can find it on Play Store. This was just uh, recently released. Kodama is like the Super Meat Boy for mobile. This is one of the older ones. Uh, it's like the the Finnish know that sped and spell it with music and it's like really chill out game where you get to uh, ha like have fun with the beats and with the tempos of the of the songs in the game okay last one we've had was nuke commander where you destroy the world with nukes to get as lot of mega deaths as you can that that's just sick but hey turku these are some of the same same guys who actually made a a torture game in Global Games. I mean, actually feel feel bad for playing that game. So that's an achievement for like really physically feel bad for playing the game. So, Turku for the win. A <laughs> lot of interesting things happening there. Come check it out sometime. Yes, this is my presentation. Thank you. Okay, who's next? Okay. There we go. Okay. Um, is this on? No? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hey, everyone. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Tampere. I have to admit, I'm not from Tampere originally. I'm I've lived 16 years in Turku, but even though all these, these four years I've lived there, it's more home than Turku is right now. Sorry, Tatu. Uh, so I'm proudly presenting my home city here. Please work. There we go. Just a little bit about me. I'm uh, a coordinator in the IGDA Finland Tampere Hub, which started last autumn. We've been doing some pretty awesome gatherings so far. Um, I'm working as a game artist at Fabric Production, which is, uh, we have about 15 people working on PC and mobile games in the center of Tampere. And I've also been the head of Game Development Club Score <coughs> during the past few years, and also the chairman of High Score, which is a student cooperative society, which kind of led me to do this kind of volunteer work. I don't really have to convince you why Tampere is the best city to live, since it's already been done in multiple times. If you don't know Finnish, it says there that Turku is the last place. 
in the uh, no really it it came second but it's still not first uh, let's start. I'm not gonna talk about all the games made in Tampere since there are a huge amount and the Tampere game industry has been here for about 15 years. But I'm gonna tell you a little bit, bit about our history and how we came to be the second biggest development city in, in Finland. And this is actually the very first game made in Tampere. There was a magazine called Mikropost, uh, which came out for the first time in 1983. And this was the very first issue. And this was the, basically the first hobby game made, uh, published in Tampere. It's called Marslander for the Commodore Vic 20. And you could write all this. It actually said on the magazine, like, you can buy games, but it's much cheaper to make them yourself. So why are you, it's, it's good to make your own games. Maybe today it's not that easy, but. Uh, Brief history of Tampere. Uh, basically, there wasn't really any commercial game development before 19, before the beginning of the 2000s. Most games companies who were games companies were doing software development and, and other stuff. Well before Universum, there weren't a lot of games companies doing only games. Uh, after Nokia kind of burst out, there was a lot of hype on mobile phones and that kind of started this general hype in Finland about doing mobile games and doing games in general. And the breakthrough was kind of when Remedy uh, published Max Payne in 2001. That was kind of like the first, first Angry Birds of Finland. So, so there, like games in Finland got media attention a bit, so you could actually make games in Finland. And that has sparked a lot of games companies in those times in the beginning of the 2000s in Helsinki and Tampere and many other cities as well. And that was kind of the reason why Universum was founded in 2002, which became the largest games company in Tampere for a very long time. There, uh, well, the story of Universum is, is kind of rocky. They started out really well. They were doing licensed games for, for Sega, for Disney, for big Warner Brothers, and THQ bought them in 2007. But they were already doing like, they were growing in a steadily pace. But, and, and basically everyone in Tampere was working for Universum. At its peak, it had almost 40 to 50 employees, which is, which was really big at the time. So if you're talking to people in the Tampere game industry, a lot of them have worked for Universum. But in 2007, things when THQ bought Universum, THQ itself, which is a big American company, had some problems, had some financial issues, which of course were reflected in Finland. And they had to lay off a lot of people from the 50 people they laid off, over 25 at first, and in 2009 they got bankrupt. So they disbanded the company. So it was kind of the rise and fall of Universum. Also it was since they were doing mobile games for, for uh, these kind of low-end phones, they, they were also doing iPhone games in the in the last last years, but it just couldn't go as fast as THQ would have wanted to. When Universum uh, was disbanded, there were only a few game co games companies in Tampere, Ten Tons, Advent Games, Moido Games, Prodigium Game Studios. It's quite interesting to think that was only five years ago, since now we have over 45 games companies in Tampere. So what happened, happened after Universum went away, which was actually an awesome thing. All those people who worked there, they were doing, let's say, kind of unoriginal stuff. They were doing licensed games. They were doing games that the American corporation was selling them to. The designs weren't... Universum's games were never thought of like super good or super awesome stuff. But the people who were working there were super talented. Since basically Universum was the, the educational institute for the games industry at their most peak times, they needed a lot of workforce. So they would just take students who wouldn't know anything about game development from TUTE, from Tampere University of Applied Sciences, and let them work there and teach them at the same time. So a lot of people in the Tampere game industry don't have a background at a games, games education or anything, but they've taught themselves in Universum. So it was kind of the school of game development at the same time. So after that, a lot of big companies were founded, which are still here, which have kind of based the new, 
new era of the Tampere game development scene, colossal order, big Q games, big uh, companies, mobile, PC, all kinds of stuff. Uh, but you can only thank Universimo for this since this was at 2009 when Angry Birds came out, so this was kind of the new wave of now that game development is actually cool. Before that, it was still kind of like a, no one really acknowledged it in Finland in general. So that was a really good time to form those companies. They got a lot of support. Also from like all around Finland, it was quite a good time to do those. And now we have all these games companies in Tampere only after, this is from 2013, so that was after four years. I think now we have over 60. I don't have any new info, but there's a lot of games here. Also, all those people who worked for Universimo before have kind of spread out to all these different games companies, like the founder of Universimo, Atte, is now the lead of studio at Ravia Tampere, and so it it's kind of goes around, so it's quite cool. Uh, we also have the awesome IGDA Finland Tampere Hub, which was founded Last autumn, we've already had five gatherings of, we almost, in every gathering, we have almost a, over 100 people. In the last one, we had 140 people, which was really great. We have a, a nice bunch of volunteers doing this. And in the end, it's actually qu quite easy to organize these since people come there. We really <laughs> like the, the local games industry and people kind of feel at home there, which is a really big advantage to us. The city is small enough so people actually know each other and talk to each other and hope we can do some cool new stuff in the autumn as well. This is my short presentation. There's a picture of our great Mustamakkara, also known as Mörköpötke. You should taste it if you come to Manse sometime. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Ilmasta mainosta. Hmm. <laughs> okay, hi guys. Um, my name is Helly Herranen and I'm a co-founder of Joenso Games Co-op. So, how, how many of you guys know what is a cooperative company. Okay, some of you don't. So, um, co-op is not about making money. Um, its purpose is to serve members' needs. So, who are we? Okay, um, it has been quiet in the North Karelian game industry for a long time. So uh, we decided to took matters in our own hands and uh, we founded a cooperative company because it's risk-free and it's easy to join. So <coughs> this is Mika Vesitie. <laughs> you cannot see his head. It wasn't supposed to look like this, but he's the main man behind this idea. So. If you see him, give him a high five. Okay, what are we? Uh, we are a training ground for future game developers and entrepreneurs. Um, through us, you can get connected and build a network. We bring together lonely game developers, students of programming, graphics and music. We offer the chance to work with other game companies and do your own game projects. For the customers, the game companies, uh, we offer enthusiastic fresh talents for a good price. For every um, company, it's good to have a vision and a mission in one sentence. So this is our vision to, to create well-being for North Karelian game industry. 
and our mission is to be the biggest operator in the area. Um, the game industry is growing very fast, especially in Finland, so we really want to be a part of that. Okay, uh, our goal and how we are going to achieve it. By the end of 2014, Yuanzhou Games Co-op will have at least 150 members and also at least one game published by the end of this year. Yeah, um, and these goals will be achieved by contacting Nordic game companies. Yeah, and uh, Temu will be presenting uh, our first game. So this is going to be very brief because there, there is two people from UNSU here. So thank you. Hello. Hello. Thanks, Helu. Hello, my name is Teemu Jyrkinen and I'm here to this Joensu Games co-founder co also and I'm here to present our new game and uh, how can I have this open? There. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you about our new game and uh, I'm currently a student at Autokumpu. It's uh, very close to the Joensu. I'm, I'm currently studying 3D artists, but somehow I got to the game design. And uh, I can show you how this <laughs> will go on. Okay, uh, the goal is to launch our game to iOS and Android tablets. It's a top view, fast paced space shooter, and a hint of old school elements, as you can remember uh, Amiga or on old computer games, we are com uh, combining those elements to this game. There are 25 story driving missions to five different planets, and uh, uh, we took our inspiration for this game especially from the Raptor, which represents those retro styles aspects and Shogun to give some new gold lines to improve to find fresh fins to this genre. Um, it's a one-finger game with autopass system. It's kind of new, I think. When you lift your finger, it's a big game paused, and uh, it's quite a well system. Oh. Uh, there is currently 16 different power-ups for weapons, shields, health, restore, and bullet time effect. Uh, two different game modes. Currently, story driving campaign and arcade, where you can choose any missions to play. Um, about the game environment, two playable spaceships, 20 different enemy spaceships, five boss battles, each those have a couple of different attack cycles, and uh, each planet has its own style and atmosphere, Earth, Moon, Sand, Ice and Alien. And currently what we need about this game, we are looking for EOS Android game publisher, specialized in table games and excellent understanding merging in shoot them up games. Cross promotion platform, peer media, and uh, game is currently 80% ready and it will be soft launch end of <laughs> July. Oh, this is old dia, <laughs> it's end of August, exactly. <laughs> and uh, our team is 10% strong and we have been working this product about six months and uh, I want to tell about um, I'm I started study 3d and games last autumn and uh, this is our new game and this is my first project and I'm really proud of it and uh, I'm example of Finnish education at that it works yeah thanks it's very brief
So hello, I'm Thomas Ronan, as you can see. Uh, I'm co-founder of Expa, uh, which is basically US Gula Igri Hub, which I'm also co-founder of. And the idea is that actually uh, Expa, Peli Osuskunta, Expa, is a go operative as, as such. And the idea is that um, we wanted to form uh, this kind of new gathering idea that all the developers could come together, have drinks, and because US Kula is like a, some sort of a shadow between Tambere, there's not as a big companies in that as such. And we wanted to be part of ICDA also because we wanted to have a more international view. Uh, we've been starting Expa from like officially 2003, uh, 13 actually, yeah. And then ICTA came along with it. And the basic facts is that we wanted to have well, 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 well. all the students, because there's a lot of, it's but a student city. Post. There's a University of Uvescula, and there's a University of Applied Science of Uvescula. And they both started to uh, have game education now. Basically, they had a lot of research in game industry already. But the main focus is that <clears throat> when we started Expa, the like Uvescula's uh, game industry scene builder uh, in, in such, we thought that there would be only maybe the founders, like five to ten members. But as you can see, we have only been like, like a year, we only have like 60 members already. And they, mostly they are artists or designers, coders, as a scene. And we've been, we can be found from internet, expo.5, or social media, Twitter, Facebook. And the idea is, is the same as ICTA. Uh, the, the difference is in that is that Expo is the company that can actually publish also games. And ICTA is uh, next to us that will develop the uh, developer's view. And also, it's, we want to be very, very open to all cities like Turku and Tambere and Joinsu and things like that. We want everyone to have the equality in that sense. And we are very open. We want to have like gatherings that it doesn't matter where you come from or what you do. Uh, we want to embrace it, the whole idea in it. Uh, the scene now actually is there's somewhat about 20 companies, game companies uh, in US Kula. And most of them are single man or single woman companies. So it's like indie scene overall. Uh, the one, almost 30 persons are in the Star Arcade, which is the biggest one uh, at the US at the moment. And the next one is Fun Art, which we have the crew be here uh, <laughs> in the audience. And, we, and then it gets down and down a bit smaller ones. But as you can see, there's a lot of companies already. And the education is like starting actually grow. And there's a lot of eager people in the scene that wants to get heard and wants to get found. And as we started to do these gatherings, as ICDA does, we started to form companies, like uh, like Tight Light and things like that. Uh, we had a first uh, meeting, and after the first meeting, people that didn't know each other made a company. We got a call from US Gula Development Center that did you know that we had these guys, and they, they established a game company after your uh, gatherings. So it's ex extremely cool, what I can say. And uh, uh, the future, at, as it seems, uh, 2014, uh, we have this idea of, of Leipomo. So it's a game industry bakery, like a startup house in some. It's rebuilding in the center of the Uvascula. They're renovating uh, old. I guess it's an old physics department, <laughs> and they are fixing it. And the idea is to have all these small companies and indie guys to get in the same house, to establish something big, and like really big. Uh, most of these companies are very new, as you can see the fun art actually, Saibachu, at Inspiration, that's my. And CAD is also new, they published a Roska Gold game, Roska. Uh, the first one. So there's a lot of things that are actually very bubbly now. People are establishing companies and getting things done. And so the scene itself is more like uh, 
getting to make the companies happen and it waits to investors to pick up something or to make a one huge hit to get known. Because we've been, like I said, we've been shadow of Tambare in that sense, and we want to get off that. And then uh, the idea of the, the future of Expo and ICTA in Uvascula and also the Uvascula City's idea in the game industry is that we could educate the people at the region uh, to establish companies, get investors, funds, as such, uh, get do the gatherings. We have every month gathering, uh, except the summertime. We have summer holiday. Uh, next big, some sort of uh, happening is a US Club Game Day, which will be in September. Uh, there will be researchers and game companies developing, showing their stuff, and after that, we will be have gatherings until December. Uh, the idea of US Club and the Peliosos Kunta Expa cooperatives also that, that we have 60 members already and we want to do subcontracting like actually subcontracting like if you have a company that doesn't have the time to do demos or promote that you could ask from us and we get you the guys to do it so it's like business in that sense and the idea is to, to grow bigger 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 and I mean like big <laughs> like get to the actually city to probably as a game industry. And we need investors, a region, every region needs a investors, but that's the fact. Uh, we need at least one success story that will boost up the industry and it will grow the money in it. And as you can see, we have Expo card, as you can see here. So you can get discounts already in the US club, which is cool. Everything that students need, so you get discount from kebabs and <laughs> from bars to beers. So we're we will challenging the green card if you know in Finland with S on it. We want to challenge that. So I mean, like think big. <laughs> so that's the idea in it. But as you know, get known to Uvascula and came scene in Uvascula, and you're always welcome there. And from expat.5. Just contact me or anyone else in the scene, and we have a party. <laughs> Thanks. No, no, yeah. Uh oh, nice. Hello. Okay, okay. Mic on, mic on, mic on. Does everybody hear me? Oh, cool. Yeah, so, yes, what do we have? We have Mörkö Makkara, we have scary <laughs> games, we have cards. <laughs> it's just brilliant. But hey, uh, I'd like to introduce everybody on the stage. Let's talk a little bit. And the audience can join, of course. You can throw questions and shout and whatever <laughs> is needed. Uh, I mean, let's let's go and talk about a little bit. Uh, how the, does the IGDA is uh, like? Uh, how do you on your uh, your cities? How do how do you like uh, get like uh, well like, developers together? How, how do you like uh, well do the like a uh, good willing work? on the like your city's uh, game industry so uh, <laughs> i can answer that first because uh, igda is around the around the world so it's pretty clear to see the big picture if you have some idea of igda and you find the igda activities around your region you're like oh okay this is something real i want to be a part of this this is not some small club with uh, small vision and small kind of ideas what to do, but uh, like the, a true vision and a mission for it. So people like that. Uh, I think from behalf of US Club, I think the idea is to to get people uh, to opportunity to move on. So if there's a guy that wants to make a game or wants to establish a company, and uh, we will show them the people where to meet or get handwritten, and also US Club is the building was, uh, Expo made a game called Mighty US Club, which you can actually download and didn't mention that, but it's actually they're like a regional uh, advertisement of US Club already itself. So 
we want to show the people that there's an industry already here, so just start doing. Mm. Yeah, and, and okay, this on. Uh, for Tampere, it's, it's kind of we, we want to build this community in with the IGDA Tampere Hub in a way that um, people come to Tampere and see like, oh, we, you have this great community of game developers. They go to this bar and just hang out and every month and they want to see each other on their free time. And, and well, at least in Tampere, there's this problem that at some point you're going to get a job in Helsinki. So we, we want to battle that and, and f let people feel like they don't need to leave Tampere to get a really good career. It's, you, can, you can stay in Tampere and, and we really want to promote that. There's been a lot of I guess from every city, like people move to Helsinki all the time, and I like that the game industry in the whole of Finland will stay vibrant. And I think one way to help in that is to have a good community. Like people feel like I don't want to leave this place. I, all my game developer friends are here. It's really nice. The developing games is really open-minded and and cool. And and this to promote this kind of feeling. And I I think so far in the gatherings we've done a good job with that. And and keep the spirits up. And in, in Joensu, this uh, ETA is a very good uh, community to cur uh, cur around every uh, kind of people to together and make games. <laughs> and well, uh, like every city, there's like you have gatherings on now and then, and everybody's in, in invited there, but not like Helsinki guys or Turku guys, but. <laughs> well, mostly everybody. You're not okay. invited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Uh, how do you guys see your uh, city, uh, like in five years now, like the game industry scene? Uh, we well had some like on um, presentations, maybe a little, little bit so so that. But uh, your own words, what do you see? Where where is Joensu? Jo where is Tampere on, let's say, in 2017? Yeah, um, well, we're only just starting to think big, <laughs> so uh, that's the goal, so... Um, if we think big, so let's just say big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <sighs> yes, we want to be big, <laughs> of course, of course, and uh, we want to make money, of course. So Everybody. Like, like more and more uh, game companies. Uh, yeah. Um, well, 2020, there's like 100 game companies. That's like well, 15,000. Uh, uh, maybe about quarters. 50. <laughs> it's a good start. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah. At least uh, for Tampere, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to two different things. Uh, the first one is to actually build a very good base of game development studies in Tampere. Since until 2009, basically there was no game development studies, and even it's just started in the past few years in Tampere University of Applied Sciences. But to get this, when we get a lot of students working on games and working professionally on games, it's and form games companies from those, it's going to change the scene. At least I hope that entrepreneurship will be even more encouraged. Since right now it's people are studying, but they don't really see the option of uh, making their own company. That and also kind of keeping the old, like the scene veterans here, like in Tampere, since that's also important that people who are kind of have been in the scene for 10 years don't leave to another city. So kind of get some fresh blood, get some fresh people to the scene, but also make the scene older all itself. And I, I believe that with that, we can get a really big scene going on there. And, and I hope investors like that, we'll, we'll pick up some games companies. So in like 2020, uh, in Tampere, the uh, well, guys who will live in Tampere, stay in Tampere, make yeah. up companies and... I believe the next Supercell will be in Tampere. <laughs> it's it's going to happen. <coughs> For Turku, it's uh, really interesting to see that uh, there are some people and there will be more people that will be like seniors in the games industry in Turku. So the first ones will be like seniors and maybe they will found their second game company in Turku someday. And uh, at this moment, there's a lot of people who are just starting out from school, going to make uh, start companies. And so we're going to see a lot of face plants. Like <laughs> but some of them will just drive on and struggle and achieve, achieve 
at some point. So I would also like to see someone, someone actually move to Turku to work in a game company. That would be awesome. Like <laughs> so, so yeah. I'd like to see someone move to Turku. <laughs> Actually, so one one guy just moved to Turku from the Tampere uh, 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 course for. Do you have like an exchange training. program going on, or what is this thing? It's just like oh, you gra I grab you, you come here, and and so uh, like in 2020 in Turku, there's like well, old schooler Turku lies. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Uh, in in that sense, like uh, US Club, because it's bubbling now. So after in five years, I I believe that the guys that has had these in these small companies, like one or two persons will establish a new bigger company as, as Turku that actually will evolve bigger ones. Uh, I truly believe that there will be at least from one to three to five uh, actual big companies that are successing and, and like boosting the whole scene and getting things done. And I, in that sense, I believe that uh, US Club will be the one that will have the most of impact to raising the most small indie companies to bigger ones in, in five years. Yeah, cool. So uh, we've been warming up a little bit here. So how about if we just like start bragging? <laughs> yeah. And uh, well, and our audience can join <laughs> if you like. So uh, every city, what is so good about you? And why, why do we need to follow you? Why would you guys like come there and so on? It might might be true or might like be half true. Anyways, just well now, <laughs> start advertising. Uh, one of the cool things that that the uh, demo scene, some of the like awesome guys from actually from Turku move on to Tampere and Helsinki and found the company. Still, there's this like small Turku mafia in the games industry of, of uh, CEOs and other and entrepreneurs that I haven't, haven't heard a lot about that, but there is one. And yeah, we have a top 10 Steam game at the moment from Turku, so like. <laughs> okay, well, what, what about the Turku river? I mean, there's like this river thing going on. Yes, we have Could river thing, yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes, we have river. <laughs> we have a bigger one. Okay, okay, we, we, we can move along and we can well, uh, come back later on. So, next one. We have lakes, like, all around it. It's no rivers, it's a lakes. Are we now bragging about how <laughs> no. water supply? But we can like survive. The bigger the water supply, the better the game Yeah, but we can survive. There's a lot of water in it. So. It's, the water is pure, so you yeah. think Well, you are next to the ocean, so it's like a, a sea, so it's... <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. go back to the game, game gaming <laughs> part. But okay. just, just think about, like, well, you got well, lots of going on in every city, so what's you're like, really, really proud of? So please, tell me. Just like crazy students making companies and making start making games with, like, zero zero like uh, uh, what's the word for it like just throw themselves out there to make their games so it's been crazy to see that yeah that's, that's good mm. yeah there was a really cool project going on at the Tampere University of Applied Sciences this summer basically 25 people who have never made games before in their lives made five games in five weeks and they made 25 games without any knowledge but now they have knowledge so but, but is making games easy it, it sounds like okay I can do five games in one weekend or you can always like, find a way. It's just like a, yeah. only, only Tampere uh, people can do five games on one weekend. But I kind of I kind of believe that that's going to be kind of the selling point of the Tampere uh, kind of education. Since at first, like you just have to get those crappy games out. It's it, everyone's going to make them, so you better make them fast. So those five games are going to probably going to be horrible, and they're going to have a lot of bugs and mistakes. But you're going to learn from them, and that's kind of like we just throw them in a fire pit. Well, you can go check them out. They're at the Tom assemb like assembly stand. If you're gonna go check out the five week games we've been okay, doing well, uh, them since those, those 2008. Those are not the first crappy games. Those are like the yeah. next. No, no, they're the they're, <laughs> they're the, the, the summer. They're the crappy games. Oh, okay, <laughs> nice. Okay. But they're not all crappy. They're good. Yeah. I, I participated in that a few years ago. It, it was also my first game project. I haven't been in the industry for so long. So, so that's that's a really cool thing. Like doing like game jam. Well, the Finnish game jam has originated from Tampere in a way so oh okay that's a good point so yeah. the game the game jam blood is in us so <laughs> okay <laughs> so if you're looking for a place to jam next february finish game jam so face like yeah, yeah. advertisement so you should come to Tampere. okay 
Yeah, I think in uh, US Club, the idea is also that there's a very, very strong educational and research department that has studied uh, game industry for long, like Agora Game Lab and things like that. It's like already a decade making an especially serious games. And I think that US Club will be also very heavy on serious games. There's a company like Bisamala and things like that are already building a, like a next generation education games that will be also very heavy in that sense. Uh, the US Club's best idea is that there's a lot of people that have moved from other countries or from other cities to get around and start to make a company. Like, I, it's, it's like a neutral scene in that sense. There's no like hazards or anything that they can start from scratch to make a new one. So that's like an like a open canvas in that sense. OK, so you don't have like a game industry fights at the marketplace. No. So it's like everybody's just like a neutral zone here. Yeah. No Klingons, no, no okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, we have the best education in graphics, graphical design. Correct. <laughs> yeah. And um, Joensuu is a small city, so I think that can be an advantage because you get to know the right people easily, and the circles are very intimate, and everybody's in the same place, actually, in Science Park. There are game companies, uh, the business incubator. Yeah, Game Brewery and PowerShell just got yeah. Steam Greenlight. Uh, university programmers and uh, graphical designers and... Yeah all in the same building, so yeah. it's very easy Great to community. Uh, yeah. cooperate with each other. Yeah. <coughs> Do you have lakes? <laughs> yes, and rivers <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> also. I have to say one thing that uh, the game brewery uh, beer was published and public in Uvascula, bars, and also the makers are from Uvascula, so Funny Mohisi will make your beer for every Okay. <laughs> so, the game industry beer comes from the best. We don't drink way. beer in the Finnish game industry. <laughs> no, no, I don't. No, no. I, I heard no. stories about you know, <laughs> US, England, those. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, still got something we forgot. We've got international events like Illusion. And I have to say, Illusion was pretty awesome. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm trying oh. to think of something really awesome. <laughs> but. We have such, so many awesome stuff, so it takes a time to think. Uh, at this but point. It's, yeah, but it's kind of funny. I, I was thinking about, like, is there any type of genre of games <coughs> made in Tampere? And I kind of found two types of genres. We make, like, super engineer porn simulation games, and we make awesome local multiplayer games on iPad. Those are kind of, like, two big genres that are, like, if you know, wrestle, Wrestle Jump and Tug the Table, Tank of Tanks, Tuokios, mm -hmm. King of Opera, those are made at Tampere. And then there's Cities in Motion and Rescue, which are, well, Colossal Order and Fragment are the biggest games companies in Tampere. It's kind of funny since they, all those guys are originally from Universumo and they ended up doing so different games. But like, they, they, they do their like, crappy games on Universumo. I'm not saying Universumo is crap, but sorry. Yeah. <laughs> See, uh, yeah, but they ended up doing what they really wanted to. It's, it's, Nice to see that they all worked in the same company, but in the end they wanted to do completely different games, which made this awesome scene of really different stuff. There's a card game, Cabal's made in, in Tampere, and there's lots of different mobile games. I also like that there's a lot of PC titles developed, and um, there was just... I have to I admit mean, I'm a bit embarrassed that I remember the company's name, who just made it to Greenlight. Uh, I have to check that out later, but we have like lots of cool stuff going on. Hey, by the way, audience, did this gentleman here forget something about the, their own city? Oh, by the way, do we have uh, people of, uh, around Finland here? Uh, Tampere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Want anything to say about uh, Tampere? <laughs> yeah. They're all, they all got my back. You know, we're all, we're all bros there, you know. Okay. Keeping it yeah. chilly. Keep it real. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. cool. Hey, okay, uh, I know it's morning, and well, the brain starts only waking up. So, uh, 
how about if we do this kind of thing while making your cities more popular? Uh, everybody says uh, one, well, uh, well, one at a time, uh, well, um, company or cool game or a uh, famous game developer from your scene. And we go round and round. Okay, some well, uh, some of you will have more to say, some of less. Uh, if, if you don't really like, well, get anything in your head, then we just move on. And let's see, like, uh, who are the last ones to battle? Oh, who, man. Who, who, who got the most of the things? Can I get so. my presentation out here? <laughs> yeah, because this is like, a, do you remember what you said earlier? <laughs> now this is a test. So, uh, <laughs> well, okay, well, well, start thinking. So, do you understand? You get it? Okay. Yep. Do we start like there and go this round this way? Please. Uh, Polar Pani with Parcel. It's so epic. Okay, next. Ravio <laughs> Tampere. Rival games because they want to go big or go home. Uh, I say fun art because they're making a music game with concerts and bands, so they're establishing a whole new gender and coming. We have mental moustache. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Fragment, I have to say, since I'm working there, it's the best games company in Tampere. So. Uh, Tribe Flame, because of their attitude in making games, they use like, use like eye tracking and brain sensors for making their Benji Bananas game to really optimize it and get it right. I have to say, Pisamala, which will make the next generation education game, will, will be published very, very soon and will, will evolve entirely different scene in that sense. Mm, and of course, our Joensu Game Scoop and Starbark is the new game. A uh, castle order since they got a really nice deal with Paradox in the days to with Cities in Motion and it's become one of the most best known city simulation games after SimCity. Uh, my company in order to get where we're making an awesome casual puzzle game that's gonna be something you've never seen before. Uh, I have to say Sausage, which is like a game that was uh, RGB type of game before Ocean Horn, and it is still boosting up very hard. And the same company made also Suji and uh, Swordfish. Okay. Well, I have made one game <laughs> <laughs> in two weeks for school. <laughs> it's called Star Catcher. It's for Android, and hopefully, maybe I'll publish it someday. <laughs> Uh, I'd say Otto Ville Ojala is one of the greatest indie developers in Tampere. He makes one, uh, he makes uh, iPad games for a local multiplayer. A really awesome. Go check his thing out. Pioneer. Like he, he's the pioneer of one touch games and on the iPad. Okay, Vitali Kirpu from Turku, who made the pixel piracy all by himself all by himself and it wasn't a five-year project he started it like a year or a year or a half ago uh, i have to also say at inspiration which is my company with a couple guys me made this game called goldfish in the sewer which we been been uh, two weeks top one racing game in china which is weird i don't know how it ended up there but it was there like boosting up and that's it okay. yeah no. um Trip works, uh, educational games. Yeah. I have to say, high score cooperative society. Uh, well, for published games, we published uh, 23 games on the Nokia Asha just this spring to the developing markets, which was pretty cool. Which I think they've got over 30,000 downloads so far in India and, and China and, and stuff in Brazil. Treehouse for making dethrone the most ambitious game project in Turku, like you, a MOPA tower defense, real-time multiplayer, you can play with any device against the, or each other, or the other guy could have an iPad and you had your Android phone and you'd be online playing each other against each other. Mm, I have to say Star Arcade, which is the biggest uh, company in Uvescula, uh, about 30 persons working there, they actually had the uh, made games to all platforms before Unity Game Popular. They have their own 
construction based on that, and they have a huge fan base in Arabs and Emirates and things like that, so they already have entirely different uh, customer base than anyone else. Um, we have Ram Roid, Roid Studios, which makes uh, Android app, apps, actually. Yeah. <laughs> he got Apex Games, and Mikko is sitting right there in the audience, so. <laughs> Gotta mention that. Uh, we have uh, mm, Veli Pekka Kokkonen in his company, Brainboxing, who's made some like artsy fartsy games, so they made a game. The cube, and also another game uh, that you can tune your Amis Amis Toyota in it, Amis Corolla in the game. So a game where you tune your car and like attach the tires and uh, like rotate those <laughs> knobs, and then you get it running and you slam slam on the wall and just like haha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then well, well crashing the. Toyota into carpets. We have this game called Roscoe, which is published just a week ago, <laughs> which means trash. Uh, the company created it, uh, it, it was actually just published it, uh, not long ago, and they're going to boost up the gamification in companies' point of view. So they're actually making like distri distribution for companies for gamification different kind of products. Okay. Um, in the University of Eastern Finland, uh, we have Seurakunta um, Technology, um, Seurakunta Technology, which makes um, apps and games for for the church. Q uh, Games in Tampere is, so far, I think the only. I don't know if any other games companies are making uh, like iPad card games. Well, Hearthstone is kind of. Uh, going up right now, so I guess their timing was right a bit, but they need more attention and love, so go check their game cabals. I just had one in mind. What was it? Something that okay, well, sounded then, fun. Then we skip and we you get go back to You lose. Uh, I can say uh, Echo Peli, which is developed from Neil Maki Satya, which is in next to the university. They're teaching little kids to speak and get rid of uh, dyslexia and things like this. And they're building that to like dirt world countries like and getting into China and getting into uh, different countries like Africa. So they're trying to make children to learn read cheaper than ever. Mm. Yeah. My mind is so clear. <laughs> I don't have anything. <laughs> um, uh, we have Gamma Sound, which makes music um, uh, sound effects for uh, films and games. We got Tuokio, which makes also awesome multiplayer games in Tampere. I remember it now. The Rumilus designed for making the best matchstick game there is. And they also had one of the developers' wife was actually was and is Chinese, so they made a localized version of that, and it's the number one like puzzle game in China for well, for the Windows Phone. Whoa! Uh, we have this uh, like indie company called Instant Kingdoms. Uh, they actually the, there's only man and a woman, uh, like a marriage couple that made a lot of lot of years one game. And it boosted up uh, very nicely, and it, it's fully in the game in that sense. And uh, the one thing is that I met this couple, and you can say that you can make games and work with your wife or with your husband nicely. <laughs> make up something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Really. Don't look at me. <laughs> we have teacher gaming. Um, that um, uses Minecraft for education. Isn't that in Tampere? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, no. That's a th oh, thanks. Thanks for answering for me. <laughs> oh, it's moved. <laughs> I don't know. So it used to be in US. Yeah. Thanks. Well, you answered for me, so. Mm. <laughs> one more, one more. I, I can remember that. Too. Yuha Kili made a, a tool for Unity called Rage Spline, which is really, really popular. 
and now he was uh, he was hi hired by Unity, and he was one of the guys who made the Unity 2D features. Mm, I have to say, Saibachu. Uh, it's a, like very logo guys, and that are building a, like a new hit into the vascular. They have igloo. <laughs> yeah, the Edel crew that has this probably thing is that you have to move around, and it will be instant hit when it hits the market. You can't use Google anymore. So. Mm. <laughs> um, so we go back to lakes. The yeah. big, biggest lake. <laughs> That's all for us, <laughs> I mm -hmm. think. That's for our. Yeah. Well, we've Actually. got Trivation. That's not out yet, but it's yeah. um, currently developing. A really cool game coming out from Polar Bunny. Also. <laughs> yeah, we got two game development combo entries from Tampere here in Assembly. And you still have about 35 minutes to vote for Stardust Galaxy Warriors 2. and. 2048 FPS, which are both got into the game dev compo this year. The penguin game is from Turku. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> but it was awesome. Mm, we have this MH uh, game, uh, indie game company that's a one-man band, so called. He made a lot of games, and it's a, it's a person that you don't see him anywhere, but he just makes awesome games. <laughs> It's like Levy and the Leavings. So you never see the, uh, like, they never actually play anywhere. They just sell the CDs. So it's a, like a similar type of guy. Like he makes the games, yeah. yeah. Mm. You don't have anything to mm. nope. move to Tampere? Uh, we have 10 tons, but I have no idea what they're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> if someone knows, they can tell me. Turku. Um, I know there's still a lot of going I on. still have a lot of names. It's like you are not dropping out right now. You are? <laughs> okay. Man. Uh, we have Rata software that will do subcontracting to different companies. I guess it's part of Pisamala too, yeah. We have base.com which is making children's games in Tampere. Made is Lola the Math Panda or whatever it was called. It was, yeah. They also have an office in, in Hong Kong. It's a Chinese company, so. Okay. We have a game called Juggernauts. I'm actually not quite sure what it does, but we have a game called Juggernauts. <laughs> <laughs> we have Breach Entertainment. And I have no idea what they're doing either. <laughs> uh, we have Belly <laughs> called the Expo, which made him buy the US school, actually. <laughs> oh, damn. To go. No, no, I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to lose. Right I'm not, okay, I didn't lose to Turku. Yeah, I could go on. <laughs> I'm above this competition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. That. Thank you. Oh, uh, damn. I, I think you're, you're finished? I just had like a list of like 55 <laughs> games companies. And, and the counting. Yeah. No. I think okay. Turku won. <laughs> <laughs> okay, audience, what do you think? Who won? Okay, can we get, get some applause to you, Vascula? Yay! Yay. <laughs> Turku? <laughs> <laughs> hey, seriously. Tampere? Yay. I think you have some friends there. Uh, Join <laughs> soon. <laughs> 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 Good enough. Yep. Hey, how about if we do something exciting next? Uh, we are still on the topic at the game development scene, well, on, on your area. And how about... Uh, okay, let's get all this with, uh, without some of this. Uh, everybody will do a little show without words, like a pantomime uh, show about something what's good and great on your area. Uh, you, did you get the idea? And the audience can guess, and we, we can guess uh, about w what's going on. We get like maximum two minutes. Does it have to be for the city or the games industry or? Anything? Well, uh, well, the, well, the game game industry. Well, you you can choose. Well, what you can like act the best. Think it through for a moment. 
At the audience, are you ready? Have anybody seen the black and white movies lately? I mean, we, we can, uh, I would like, like to speak for you. <laughs> okay, now this guy is walking around. Uh, what is he doing? But yeah, uh, do you have a first? Okay, Mr. Turku. Tadu Laine. Okay, ready. Box. Stripper. You're, you're getting home from the ink okay. dummy. Drunk. Elvis. Working. You're Being gathering all the investor money you're getting. <laughs> The Independence Day. A boat, harbor, something, something. Ferry. Hey, we'll move from <laughs> Turku. <laughs> Fishing. Summer. Siljala. <laughs> <laughs> Swedish boat. Ruotsin <laughs> laiva. <laughs> no, uh, it's sailing. Sailing. <laughs> sailing. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. Miss Tambare? How come it's all little like drinking? <laughs> Wait, that's coffee. Getting freaky with it. <laughs> this but where am I? Sound like some kind of ITD gathering thing. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm, maybe I. Can, can I tip anything? <laughs> no. Only pantomimes. Yeah. Okay. Don't use words. Okay. Ilosari. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, festival. Ski jumping, <laughs> yes. <laughs> More drinking. Okay, I think this was so easy. That I, let's do another round. <laughs> let's do another round, right? That's hard, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me think. I can go. Yeah. Murga <laughs> Petke. Yes, Murga <laughs> Petke. <laughs> Something with Turku infused in it. I'm so thinking. I can speak Turun Murre because <laughs> you can speak. Like what? <laughs> can do nothing. Want you put up a show about Turun Murre? <laughs> <laughs> How do you speak Turku anyway? <laughs> <laughs> I leave it to the actual natives. <laughs> okay, cool, yeah. Mm. Are we lost here? Okay, come on, guys. <laughs> Tamara can do it. Okay, well, I think Tamara gets some oh, points I get from you. Okay. <laughs> okay. But hey, um, we're heading to the end soon. So, uh, of course, in IGDA, we are all big, happy family, like siblings. <coughs> so, uh, how about if we like well, say something good and something bad about well, different IGDA hubs? Does that sound fair? I mean, do not go like really, really, really dirty stuff, but I, get like, <laughs> uh, I don't like murga makkara. Yeah, that, uh, that's uh, pretty insulting <laughs> if you say that. It's but uh, I really, really like the well, people on Tampere. They're really like, nice and relaxed. So you get the idea. Hmm. I don't like the attitude that in Helsinki people act that they know that they are what they are doing. So. 
They act like they know how to make games. They don't know how to make games. <laughs> <laughs> two, two artists live in Turku. <laughs> so and uh, well, uh, and like yesterday, we were. This one guy was frustrated because he couldn't get Ule Texti TV into his Unity game easily. Like, where would you need that in two games? Cool, cool. So uh, there's a well positive from Turku perspective <laughs> to say about uh, Tampere Joesu Jyväskylä. Nope. Uh-uh. <laughs> Tampere is nice. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thanks, man. Sometimes. <laughs> uh, I can. Actually, Uvascula is the best. Yeah, one. The best feeling <laughs> is in Uvascula. Actually, I'm changing. Did you get paid? I'm changing my opinion based <laughs> on my <laughs> credit account or something. Uh, well, I can say like like I said that Uvascula is an open scene, open canvas, and we are so close to Tumblr that we should mingle more, like each one to each one type. Uh, we had already Torgo some time ago, posting up the scene in Uvascula, and we would like to. Have Joinsu there also, yeah. and we did have a co over the we party already in Kayani. Were you guys there? I wasn't, but I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> but they were. And yeah. I know there yeah. were a lot of guys, which was actually fun. That like because uh, we have these cooperatives boosting up and building up, and we had this game jet type, which was first time now, and mm -hmm. it was in Kayani with kayak, and we hopefully have those more. And because there's a lot of young people in the industry now that have just made from the schools, and yeah. once you get in the business, like working there, and maybe some point make our own company. So this is extremely important to have uh, back from each city. Is that you can go any city, and there's always people to meet up. So mm. I can say something good about everything now. Okay. Uh, I think it's really cool. I mean, you ask that you got Expo so big and going on. It's it's something even well Tampere is a big, much bigger city, but we don't have that much of an active co-op cooperative there, and it's it's a thing that we're kind of looking up to, which which is really cool. Uh, I don't know about negative points. Um, hmm. Turku doesn't have a cooperative at all. Like we've been talking about that for five years, and nothing has happened. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, wait for someone else to do it. You know that's yes, <laughs> that's how, how it rolls. Turku, I, I actually never been to a Turku gathering. I I feel bad about it, but ne not actually. Next next Tuesday, with Epic Games. <laughs> oh damn! See, but the bad thing that it's Turku, so. And for you as well, the, well, the, of course, Illusion was one of the best game, yeah. en game events Thanks. that I was to this year. I've been to a lot of game events, so it was super cool. I'm, it's going to become a tradition. I hope for the IGDA Finland hubs as well, since we had a panel there as well. Yeah, great. But it's so far away. Close yeah, I know, I know. You guys are so far away from us. <laughs> like six hours. It's mm, yeah. And but those guys jumping on me and it, maybe it it's a good thing. <laughs> we are so far, yeah. but uh, don't know. Or actually, it was since there was Ilosari Rock on the same yeah, weekend, same so time. it felt like oh, there's so much people living here. It's mm. like so many people, but I guess it's not that vibrant. No, all it's all only one weekend. <laughs> tourists in Finland, yeah, tourists. Yeah, and then you live with that like all the money that comes from tourists on that weekend. And you live yeah, for the yeah. whole year. And yeah, almost, almost, almost. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> all sisters and brothers <laughs> <laughs> yeah. already. Shy Finlands. <laughs> and then, uh, okay, I think we are on the end of this session. So, uh, well, uh, at this point, well, asking again about the audience, do you want to know more or something? Did we get everything from your answer? Do you know everything about it? Do you want to know more? No. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so uh, after when we, when we leave this place, everyone knows, oh man, I know, I know what's happening in you, so I know what's happening in you, Vascular. So, <laughs> yeah. Good thing, good thing. But hey, okay, uh, for the last uh, well, theme, uh, if everybody could, okay, mm, I want to come, okay, I don't know, do I want to come, but uh, maybe I could, could come and visit, well, your location. Uh, invite me there. How? Why should I come and visit? Or maybe, well, live there. Next Tuesday. It's like <laughs> <laughs> it's only three days from here, and with Epic Games we have a gathering. So you can come and meet with the game developers with the best atti attitude in Finland. Vesko, so I know you've lived in Tampere. I don't need to convince you in any way. Yeah, well, I, I left from Tampere. Why? <laughs> I, I don't need to convince you. I know, I know. Secretly, deep inside. Okay. Well, just want to come can there. Can you convince this audience? Well, you saw the picture of that pretty good-looking blood sausage. <laughs> and you know, it's, it's quite easy. Like, if, if you're not maybe like, um, like in Finnish, we say not the sharpest tool in the shed, uh, you can always find your way around Tampere. You just look at that big damn tower and you find like, oh, that's north, Let's just go there. It's quite, like, you don't need to, it's, it's super easy to live in Tampere. Just go to Nassim Neoline, oh, you're there, yeah. Why should I come to Joensuu? Why? Um, we got uh, happy people and also some murre, miesie, come to us and, uh, <laughs> Um, and also, if you come, you only have to come to one one building, and you can meet everybody there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really convenient. Yeah, it okay. is. Yeah, we were. We were I'm really, really lazy, so that sounds really yeah. yeah. good. Uh, okay, the next room. Okay. So yeah, we were so kind on. of having the idea of getting the Tampere game industry, and like, there's the <laughs> new Thorny building in Tampere, which is the highest skyscraper. Just build a bigger one next to it and have all the games companies of Tampere there. We would just have this one floor of a pool and one floor of like games and I don't know it's maybe that could happen it will 2017 the dream <laughs> for a moment yes <laughs> okay uh, I have to ask everyone to come to Vascula because we will have an awesome party there with the awesome bands and I actually have to ask from Patty that which bands are coming uh, we have Sepultura Lacuna, Lacuna, Lacuna Coil What's my Dead by April. Dead by April. Uh, yes, yeah, so there's about 20 <laughs> bands coming to US Kula to embrace game industry, and Betty with the fun art and beat muse will host the session, and you will invite everyone there. Like, it's like a huge mecha hit bands coming to US Kula to embrace game industry. Hmm. Which day? In January. So, end January. of January. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, uh, well, uh, going to Turku, meet some <laughs> well, people with a good attitude, the like ITD gathering, and uh, well, okay, and Tampere is a well, easy place to <laughs> go. Uh, well, Joensu is, well, uh, for the uh, well, lazy man, everything is in uh, the same place. And you Vascula, there's a huge conference coming up. So, uh, I mean, um, I'm, I'm guessing that, okay, uh, well, first I think I'll take the, the Yuvaskula and, uh, well, then, okay, Turku, yeah, quite nice, okay, so I really like your attitude about the, <laughs> it's the same building, everybody's in the same place, and Tampere, well, pff, I pop by someday, maybe, <laughs> if I'm going there and my car broke down. <laughs> but yeah, hey, uh, okay. I think uh, we've been hearing a lot <coughs> about different IT hubs, different cities, uh, different game, game development and communities. So, uh, can I get a, well, first of all, round of applause to our uh, well, uh, well, speakers here. <laughs> and then, uh, I don't know, has the well, score changed it? Um, when we last uh, well measured this, but uh, let's hear uh, well about well 
what's what's your choice of a uh, well, city to visit next? So can I get uploads to Jyväskylä? That's so bad. <laughs> and uploads to Turku. And uploads to Tampere. <laughs> Joensu. Okay. okay, you guys were so nice, so nice. <laughs> I was afraid that there's like something like Tampere that okay, nobody's. Okay, who wants to go to Helsinki? Okay, now yeah. It's, uh, yeah. I mean, okay, we, we are in Helsinki. Everybody's here, so. Um, <laughs> We're already here. No, it's Posila. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, it's it's the same. and of course, like Helsinki is like a well huge, huge city, and it's like a, its own little country, and so on. So, but uh, I don't want to brag about it. Uh, you know, <laughs> so some little companies. I don't know. Have a, have a super cell house mark, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, anyways, this is was uh, f uh, about uh, you guys, uh, not Helsinki. Uh, well, we have the healing session later on. But hey, thank you everybody, thank you audience. I think uh, we wrap this thing up and go back to our computers and count some work. And hey, by the way, remember to vote, like the cool competitions we have in assembly. And yes, so thank you everybody. Thank you. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta <laughs> sit. You know, okay, the real battle. The real oh. battle. Okay, one, two, three.